I told our guys, I mean, Bemnowski threw, he helped us win the game on Saturday. I brought him back out of the pen on Sunday. Um, you know, he pitched two days in a row. He had one day off, and uh, he went out and gave us five innings uh, against a very good SEC team. Uh, I would have been thrilled with three or four innings and one, one or two runs, seriously. Um, I didn't tell him that, but that's what, we, as a coaching staff, we talked about. I said, if Bemnowski can give us four and give up one, you know, maybe pull him out with one run and maybe first and second with one or two outs, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the pen and get some help. So, um, And he gave us five innings and, and no runs against a good team. Um, um, so, uh, you know, my hat's off to, to Ben Nowski and, and Ben Taylor. What can you say? That, that's one of the toughest situations you can bring a kid into. Bases loaded, nobody out. If he gives up two runs, you consider it a victory. They got, you know, he struck out the side. So, uh, they get some pretty good hitters. So, th those two guys right there re really, really pitched big for us tonight. Uh, you know, it came in with uh, bases loaded. And, you know, just came in trying to throw strikes. You know, getting ahead of hitters. And, you know, when you get ahead of hitters, good things happen. Got a couple of strikeouts, got to pop out, got out of the situation. Just, just a, everything came together. Uh, give credit to South Alabama. They did what they had to do tonight. And, you know, when you break the game down, I mean, they scored their first round. Their left fielder doesn't back up. He's out of position. They scored there. You know, we misplayed the bunt and throw the ball away. That's the second one. And, uh, you know, just the strikeouts piled up for us on our side. Had some opportunities. And really had some of the right guys up in the right spots. And, and uh, you know, didn't deliver in those spots. And didn't have contact. And just punched out. And then uh, the bullpen was edgy. You know, we had a lot of traffic out there when they came in. And uh, that's kind of been the story, you know, of us for the first 22, 23 games. Missed opportunities. And, uh, just, you know, plays not clean enough. And, uh, you know, you got to play better than uh, the mobile plan. you got to throw more strikes. you got to make more contact. And, uh, you know, disappointing right now with the way we perform in the last two three weeks. For an SEC team to come in here, crowd the way it was tonight, what's that mean to the team? Uh, it means a lot. It, it means a lot that our guys weren't overamped and, and running around acting like idiots during the game and after the game. Um, we, we preach around here that every game has implications. Every game. It doesn't matter if it's Alabama, Auburn. It, it, every game is a big game. You know, you play one game at a time. You really do. Um, it's not just coach talk. I mean, it, these guys hear it in the fall. You know, the, we, we inner squads are important. You know, each game is important, and, and no game is bigger. No game is bigger than the next. There, there's a time when you know when the game is bigger than all the other ones, and this isn't the time. So our, our guys need to keep playing hard and be a good version of themselves, and they were tonight. And we came out on top.